Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Sales Post Start. Okay. So in the last video, we discussed about sales agreement object and uh, all the settings, right? So in this video, what we can do is we can create a sample account agreement and all those. Okay. So if I go to the if I local manufacturing cloud at app, you can directly add that sales agreement object in the account layout also. You can directly add the related list. So here you can create the sales agreement. So other option is you can go to the sales agreement tab directly. You can click the new button. So you can use any option, whatever way it's feasible for us. Okay. So first, what I can do is I can create one sample account. Okay. Example, I can give a max IT solutions. So this is a max IT solutions. You can get uh, any writing and I think remaining fields are not necessary. Now, just uh, you can ignore, you can just click a save. So once you create a account, right? So then what we can do is, in case if you want to add any contact, just a point of contact, you can add, for example, I can give Mr. MS. From me, that's it. I don't want any other fields now. Just click a save. So just I have created normal account and uh, contact. Okay. So now we can create a sales agreement for this company. Click a new button. Okay. For example, I can give a name like Max IT purchases they want to purchase right so i can give anything my anxiety so yeah, just say whatever you want right so as i mentioned right so whenever you create a sales agreement so the initial status of the agreement should be tracked it should be tracked okay and this sales is for this account already we are creating a sales agreement under the account record so automatically it will populate right so here you can uh, Categorize like either you can go with product level or category level. Now I'll go with on product level. You can ignore like this. And so when like from when I must want to buy a product, start date and all, right? So for example, I'll give a uh, from example, I took uh, some 20, 24 only. I'll go with the first January, first August. Okay. And you can choose, right? As I mentioned, you can uh, sell your products to customers, manufacturers, either monthly, weekly, quarterly, whatever you want, right? So I'll go with monthly now. Okay. For example, uh, 12 months, right? For 12 months, I want to uh, deliver the products to the customer, right? So end date, you no need to mention. It will come automatically. So based on this uh, start date plus uh, 12 uh, 12 months it will populate automatically in case if you want to add any point of contact here you can add it i'll just give this name it is not required just you can add anything so here you can add any price book so that same price book we can use in a uh, uh, when we are adding products to the agreement so i'll go with the standard now you can create uh, add so many price books we have we can use anyone based on the requirement for example if you go to this you click a price books we have so many price books already by default when you create r automatically this is giving so many price books here then click all price books my price books, right all those things you can use for example if i open acme price book so what are the products we have here you can check right all these available so that you can use this price book also when you are aware uh, right, for customer i'll go here agreement just type acme price book right that's it. Description. If you want to enter anything, you can enter. So this is basic information we have to give in the agreement. So initial status of the agreement is draft only. And uh, start date and schedule count. This is very important. And uh, frequency. Monthly, quarterly of all those things. That's it. Then just keep a save. So once you create a sales agreement, right? just click on that agreement record. Right? So here you can see all the information, whatever we have given, all those things, right? So if we see agreement terms now, there is nothing, right? There is, we don't have anything here because 
So there is no uh, products are not added to the agreement till now, right? So that's why there is no it will not display any agreement terms. So when these agreement terms will come, so once you add the products to the, your agreement, then based on that uh, our uh, start start date and month uh, frequency and all these things, it will display agreement terms. For example, I'll go with the related list. I can add the products. For example, I'll take these two products. Let me next. So list by same spice. I'll want to buy example. This one is 24. I'll give it this one is a 36. Okay. Even if you want to give some discount percentage for this particular product, maybe I'll give 5%. Right, can give anything. Click us. So now we have added two products. Uh, this one is 24 quantity, this is 36 quantity. So based on this quantity and start date, end date, automatically it will create the agreement terms. Now you can see all these things. Product total, I have given 24 rights in the quantity. So based on that, so I have given 12 months. So what will happen? It will take a 12 months from when I'm going to start that I have given January 1st. Right. So that's why you can see here. So now you can see only three months here, October, November, December. Right. If you want to see complete schedules, you can click on show all schedules. So it will give from starting onwards. Everything you can see here. So total 24 quantity. So it will automatically divide it by per 12 months. Right. So 24 divided by 12. So it was nothing but a two for every month. Here you can see. So this one 36 quantity. So 36 divided by 12. So why it is 12? Because I have count schedule code, I have given 12. So automatically it will divide by total quantity divided by schedule quantity. So you can see three uh, quantity. This is a planned quantity for each month. Right. Okay. That's what you can see here. So actual quantity you can see there is it is zero because why it is zero so uh, still now we have not uh, sold any products to the customer okay and this is a percentage we have applied for this one you can see here there is no discount percentage this is agreement terms so it will create automatically based on the products we have added and sales agreement start date and count all those things just okay so even if you want to view uh in a full uh, screen, you can see like this. It will display like this. You can make it a show all schedules. Again, you can see full screen in the here. All this is. Right? In case if you don't want, you can just click on legacy view. So it, it, legacy view means it will display like a uh, sidebar and all these things. If you click this one, there is no sidebar you can see. It just uh, it will display complete uh, more view more of more like a flexible okay so just close this one right in case if you want to view you can click on this one this is for refresh in case if you have done any changes in the product level anything you want to see latest values you can do the refresh option this is for like a filters so now we don't can ignore this one now okay so right so what is this option mass update option all right. In case if you want to update anything like a discount percentage, I want to increase five percent or ten percent something, right? So what you can do? For example, I click on mass update. Okay. For example, if you want to increase for all the products or any specific product, you can choose that option. Which option you want to use? For example, I'll take this one, right? For twelve months, all schedules or any specific schedule you want to increase the discount. It's also available. We can choose specific month example. Uh, I'll take for January or February month. For February month only, I want to increase the discount percentage or amount, whatever you want, quantity. Which one you want to do? You can do changes here. Okay. So now I'll take a discount percentage. How much you want to increase? For example, I want to increase twenty percentage. Right. For February month, for this product. I want to increase 20%. Click save.
So now you can check discount percentage for February month. Still it is showing the same thing, right? Now just you can refresh it. Now you can see six because twenty percent of uh, five, right? So it is nothing but a one. It will increase five plus one six like this. So you can mass update anything, whatever you want products. You can do all of all products. Also you can do something, increase some product quantity planned quantity you want to increase price you want to do changes anything you want to do changes you can do based on the requirement right all this uh, flexible options we have in the sales agreement object right so this one right i mentioned there is something called uh, sales agreement if you go right these are the like a fields now you can see right metric groups planned quantity actual quantity sales price discount percentage all these fields you can see now here inventory level and all right so in case if you want to get your own uh, other group uh, like mainly based on the quantity not on the quantity based on the amount planned amount actual amount something like that you want to create one, one more metric group so you can create that also for example okay what i can do is enable metric groups Okay. Click on enable. Right. So once you enable this one, this is a present uh, group. You can just click here. You can click edit. You can see all these things. Here we have something called uh, default group. If you put no, means it will not display default. If you have multiple, then you can choose which one is a default you want to show, or you can select whatever you want. For example, I'll create a new. So here I'll give a name called key metrics something or group something you can give anything i'll give this name okay I'll mark, for example if you make it yes so by default this group will select in the sales agreement terms okay for example i'll give now no only i'll take actual amount or otherwise planned about actual amount uh, forecast amount so here i'll focus mainly on amount object uh, amount fields and all so in the previous group already there is something called related to the quantity and all right so that's good even i'll take discount percentage right sales price so i'm just focusing mainly on these things click a save so now we have two groups right we can see these two groups uh, in the sales agreement terms object now. If you refresh the page, right? So here you can see metric group. So, so see, I have uh, just selected key metric groups, right? So now you can see it is uh, based on the amount, the planned amount, actual amount, forecasted, all these things. You want to change to old group, you can change like this. So you can create multiple groups groups and you can see the data based on the like a uh, requirement and all this okay so this is all about in this video in the next video we'll discuss uh, we'll do further uh, steps on the sales agreement like approved once it is approved how it will activate right all those things we can discuss in the next video thanks thanks for watching